Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Food House Nation. Today, I thought we'd do something a little different. We're gonna go down to Mangello's Pizza and Wings centered in the heart of Los Angeles. Given everything going on right now with the circumstance we're in, it's a little hard to have a sit-in restaurant. But what's really cool about this place, it's all outdoors. You can have a bite to eat, and then right next door is the Angel City Brew House, so you can go grab a drink right after. All right guys, let's go check it out. Alright guys, so we're here with Anthony Mangello at the famous Mangello's Pizza and Wing Spot. Tell us a little bit about like how you started. Alright, so I'm a photographer. COVID hits. My dad's a pizza caterer. Basically makes fresh pizzas at people's houses yeah, yeah, for yeah. parties and stuff. And he's doing nothing and I'm doing nothing and we're staring at each other and food delivery is there and we're like how do we deliver your pizzas to people yeah. you know as a caterer and I was like we, we got to open a pizza place and I was thinking all right so what if I take my life savings and we just get a uh, pizza place we build it out we make it and we start delivering pizzas you know because I don't got anything to do and yeah. he's like he's like let's do it let's do it here in this neighborhood you know and I'm in the arts district and I'm like what if I lose everything yeah. what if it doesn't go what if it doesn't hit what if they don't want to eat pizza here and I was like yeah we'll get a pizza truck and that way, if it doesn't hit in the Arts District, then basically we'll just go and take it to San Diego, we'll take it to Texas. It doesn't matter, we can just go, we can sell it. It doesn't, go for but it. we own it, yeah. and we don't lose our life savings yeah, on yeah. it. And I was like, okay, cool, so let's do it. Uh, got together that week, I had the website up, we sourced a um, pizza trailer from Texas, we bought it, we built it out, but then like three months of like health department, yeah. health checks went by, and finally, we started in April, I think finally in uh, August, we finally got a clearance to go, so nice. we've been up and running for three weeks now, and so it's his pizza. Pizzas. I had a special wing recipe that I put together. We got Mangello's pizzas and wings going on right here, and I'm loving it. That but is like I'm literally the most rock star story I've ever heard. Really? You just <laughs> you're like, hey, we got to figure this out. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah no, that's what my, <laughs> my dad was saying it the whole time. He was like, wow, you got so much energy, and I was like, yeah, yeah we got to do it. I didn't have anything to do. I needed something. I was I was having cabin fever. Yeah. If this gave me some sort of outlet to be creative. When we came up with this wing sauce, like kind of on accident. My wife made some wing sauce and it looked like oil and um, curdled milk. And she's like, okay. this this looks disgusting, Anthony. Yeah. Can you fix it for me? Cause she knows uh, you know, I know a little bit about cooking. And I was like, I can try. When we put it together, it was thick, it was rich. And when we put it on the wings, it was like magic. And I tasted it, I was like, this is the best wing sauce yeah. I've ever had. This was like maybe two years ago. And I was thinking to myself, I even told her, I was like, if we start a restaurant, we'd sell out every night. Yeah. This, is this is insanely good. And so I kind of had it in me to like start this. I was like, dad, I got to sell these wings that I know how to make. And yeah. so um, so I was excited to open this because I get a chance to. Nice, man. I mean, definitely like sometimes like the most best foods out there are completely an accident. Like nachos were an accident when they were first. <laughs> they were. Really? They really were. <laughs> what about like the, the area? I know you're right here next to the, the brewery. You got the pizza thing going on. You can go get some drinks over there. Uh, why, why this spot? So I actually live like a block away. So I was, I kept going around the neighborhood being like, where can I park this thing? Where can I park this thing? I want a permanent place for it so people could rely on it being there and come yeah. back to it. And I wanted to form it like a restaurant because I actually want to own a restaurant, yeah. not a pizza trailer. No, but course. this was the way I started. And so I was like, where can I park it permanently? So I started hitting up all the landlords in the neighborhood. And this guy said, wasn't that interested at first. And I hit him up again six weeks later and he, he warmed up to me. And it's like a dad son, like yeah. landlord combo. And the dad comes over, uh, rides around on his bike. He's actually crazy Gideon oh. from like some electronics store from 40 years ago. It's one of the oh, neighbors man. told me. Okay. So, um, so if anybody knows who that is, like he used to have ads on the radio. It's crazy Gideon and I'm giving away big screen TVs. They say I'm crazy, they crazy. It's my star, give it away. You are crazy. That's right, I'm crazy. And I'm giving it away. 27 inch for 189. Yes, I am crazy. They want me to smile. How can I smile when I lose my money? If you had to choose one thing on your menu for someone who has never been here before, what would it be? I would do a combo because 
The hot wings and pizza pair really well together. That's what I get. Like okay. literally when I eat here, I eat pizza and wings together because yeah. it's the best. So we literally have a pizza and wing, half pizza and six piece wing combo. Nice. And you just eat that and you get a, you basically get to try everything and they pair really well together. And I would just get whatever kind of pizza you like, yeah. but like they go really well together. Definitely, man. I really loved what you guys got going on here. If you're in the area, if you're not in the area, you need to come down here. Thanks again, man. This has been a pleasure coming down here and yeah, checking you out, bud. Great. Thanks for coming by. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do really quick, we actually have a bunch of pizzas pre-made right now. We're gonna go down this line and see what people think. Let's go. What is this, buffalo sauce? So that is actually a secret sauce. Oh. Secret sauce, okay. It's a little spicy. It's got a ting to it. Alright, if you had a 1 through 10. I said like a solid 9. Oh. Got a solid 9, okay, okay. I like it because it's cheesy on the top, but the crust is like not hard on the inside, but on the outside it's pretty crispy. So that's a plus. Oh, that's actually really good. Compared to him, I love spicy stuff. Okay. So this is actually like, it's not too spicy, but it's not like bland. So it's yeah. like, it's like a mild taste that it's like just a good pick. So if you had to choose one word to describe it, what would you choose? I was gonna say exquisite, but, ah, but, but I'll go with that, I'll go with that. I would give it a nine. Okay. I would give it a nine. I like the cheese, I like the cheese. The cheese is good, the cheese is good. I'm gonna try the wing now. I'm a little scared because I don't just, like just, spicy. Just, so. just go in for it, just, just, just do it. Alright, f*** it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's alright, we'll bleep that out. <laughs> You know, for somebody who doesn't like spicy, that's not bad. That's it's not good. like too spicy, it's no. not too like, yeah. It's a good combination. I give it a nine. Amazing. The cheese and the texture of the dough right there, it's like the perfect amount. I like the crunch and like it's kind of like gooey in the middle. That's what I liked about it, but that's the best way to get the pizza. That one was actually pretty good. It was better than the bar I actually came with with the wings because this yeah. one was more tender, more juicy. Honestly, this meal is actually worth it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, whoa. Okay, you heard it right here. Eric, you know. I don't say that often. <laughs> 10 out of 10 of that. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Okay. I'm not, I don't like a lot of sauce in my pizza. Okay. That's a good ratio. Sauce good to ratio. cheese pizza, you know. <laughs> Good ratio on the yeah, sauce like to that. cheese, very nice. There's a good crunch there. It's not like too crunchy, but it's not too soft either. I don't like like thin crust, but I don't like too much crust. I feel like there's a good like, also another good ratio yeah, yeah. to dough, like, yeah. All right. That's a good flavor, no, it's a good flavor. That's not spicy, but that is good though. This is like a nine. nine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice, very good. Very good. I'd eat this. Yeah, I'd All buy right. I'd buy it, I'd buy it. Exactly. <laughs> With the beer, there it. you go. I'd buy it. I'd buy right. this. Alright guys, so that concludes our taste test right here at Mangello's Pizza and Wings right here in the Arts District. Like I said, come down here, check it out. It's amazing. You really just gotta get down here. So, I'll see you guys here. Yes. <laughs> Real talk, how's the food? Delicious, my favorite pizza ever. Best pizza in the universe. Today's video is actually sponsored by Prep Deck. So if you notice in a lot of my videos, I'm using a Prep Deck. If you guys want to know more about this, go ahead and click this video. It'll give you a full review on the Prep Deck. If you guys want to check one out for yourselves, I'm going to drop a little link below where you can go ahead and check one out. Maybe buy one for your mom, keep one for yourself, whatever. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you like what you've seen in today's video, go ahead and drop a comment below share this video, like this video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. And when you do, hit that little notification bell so anytime I make new videos or do anything new, it pops up for you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.